Okay, before going on to the open-ended question, let me help you to understand a bit more about the Blue Tree Signature ABC Answering Technique. What does ABC stands for? Well, A is for answer with a choice. How about B? B is for back with evidence. And how about C? C is for confirming the concept. Alright, so let's take a look at how we can use these techniques to answer the open-ended question. So let's take a look at this open-ended question. John jogged for 30 minutes. His breathing rate and heart rate during the activities were measured and plotted into graphs as shown below. Identify the two body systems that resulted in the graph above. Now to help us tackle this question, we need to understand the key concept, which is our heart in our circulatory system pumps blood faster to supply more oxygen and digested food to our body parts in order to respire and release more energy. And our circulatory system works together with our respiratory system, whereby the lungs takes in oxygen. So to answer this question, now, what do you think is the answer? If you put the option as the lungs and the heart, that will unfortunately be wrong. Take a look at the question again. It says identify the two body systems. Now, do you get this correct? It has to be the circulatory system, the respiratory system that works together. So the answer is circulatory and respiratory system. Part B, based on the graph shown above, how does the heart rate affect the breathing rate? All right. As in the previous slide, we will know that the circulatory system works together with the respiratory system. So the key concept here is our body systems work together to carry out activities. As our heart pumps blood faster to supply more oxygen and digested food to our body parts, in order to respire and release more energy, so our breathing rate also increases to take in more oxygen. Now, over here we're going to use back with evidence. So we're going to look at the graph. Now, if you notice, our heart rate increases because our heart pumps blood faster. As a result, our breathing rate also has to increase. So the answer to this question is, as our heart rate increases, the breathing rate increases as well. Okay, part C. Explain why John's heart beats faster while jogging. All right, from the previous slide, you will know that our body systems work together, which is our circulatory system and the respiratory system to carry out activities. So as our heart pumps blood faster to supply more oxygen and digested food to our body parts in order to respire and release more energy, all right, our breathing rate also increases to take in more oxygen. So back with evidence, okay, if you refer to the diagram, okay, so our heart rate increases means our heart needs to pump faster. Okay, at the same time, our respiratory system will need to take in more oxygen, so our breathing rate will increase, and our lungs need to work harder to take in more oxygen. So, when jogging, the heart pumps blood rich in oxygen and digested food faster to the rest of the body, and confirming the concept. That is to show that in order to respire and to release more energy. Okay, so we have come to the last part. Let's recall some of the keywords we have learned today. All right. Now, so the lungs in the respiratory system takes in oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. The heart in the circulatory system pumps blood faster to supply more oxygen and digested food. Next, we have blood that is rich in oxygen. We also have blood that's rich in carbon dioxide. And we have blood that's rich in digested food. Last but not least, 
okay, our body do this in order to respire and release more energy for our activities. I hope you have learned something today. See you next time.